Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. I am Timothy from Cognito Academy and today we will be learning how to read the micrometer screw gauge. Here's a look at how a micrometer screw gauge works. First, turn the timbo until the anvil and the spindle are almost touching the object. Then, turn the ratchet for minor adjustments until it makes clicking sound, which indicates the grip of the micrometer screw gauge on the object is just right for the reading to be taken. Now, we will take the reading by reading the main scale followed by the more precise timbo scale. The precision of the micrometer screw gauge is one decimal place more than the vernier caliper, measuring to 0.01 mm. Let's go in depth into how to take a reading from the micrometer screw gauge. Like the vernier caliper, we need to take note of the smallest division of both scales and record to that smallest division. The main scale measures to 0.5 mm while the smaller thimble scale measures to 0.01 mm. First, we read the main scale reading on the immediate left of the thimble, giving us 11.0 mm. Next, we read the thimble scale. Each division on the thimble scale is 0.01 mm. We take the thimble reading that is in line with the orange datum line, giving us 0.40 mm. Adding both readings gives us 11.40 mm. Let's try another example. Reading the main scale here gives us 2.5 mm and the timbo scale gives 0.38 mm. Adding both readings gives 2.88 mm. Like the vernier caliper, we need to examine the micrometer screw gauge for zero error to account for the error in our observed reading. That is, we check if the thimble reading is 0.00 mm when the micrometer screw gauge is closed. Now, let's identify the different zero errors. In the first reading, the thimble reads 0.00 mm, hence there is no zero error. In the next reading, the zero marking on the thimble scale is below the red datum line. Hence, that is a positive zero error. Reading it just like a normal micrometer screw gauge reading, the main scale reads 0.0 mm, while the thimbo scale reads 0.02 mm. Adding both gives a zero error of positive 0.02 mm. In the last reading, the zero marking on the thimbo scale is above that of the red datum line. Hence, that is a negative zero error. For negative zero errors, we read the thimbo scale backwards just like what we do for vernier calipers. Hence, Instead of reading 0.46 mm on the thimble scale, reading it backwards will give 0.04 mm instead. Hence, the zero error is negative 0.04 mm. Now, let's obtain an accurate reading from the micrometer screw gauge. On the left is its observed reading, while the right shows the zero error of the micrometer screw gauge. First, let's read the observed reading. The main scale gives 2.5 mm, while the thimble scale gives 0.09 mm. Adding both gives an observed reading of 2.59 mm. Now, let's read the zero error. First, we identify the type of zero error. Since the zero marking on the thimble scale is below that of the red datum line, this is a positive zero error. The main scale gives 0.0 mm, while the thimble scale gives 0.14 mm. Adding both gives a zero error of positive 0.14 mm. Lastly, we account for the zero error by subtracting it from the observed reading, giving us an accurate corrected reading of 2.45 mm. With that, this wraps up our video on the micrometer screw gauge. If you like this video and found it helpful, do like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for more content. Also, visit our website www.cognito.academy to assess even more awesome academic content.